In Southeast Asia, farmers often plant cassava on sloping land. Under heavy rainfall and without proper measures, soil easily washes down the slope and gathers in lowland water reservoirs, irrigation channels, and paddy fields. Soil erosion is worst at the onset of the rains because it takes up to three months before cassava cuttings grow enough leaves to cover and protect the soil. In the rainy season, the soil washes away and the soil will become hard. Then in the next season, we must hoe the field till near death as the soil is so hard. But after we planted grass lines, the soft, fertile soil is kept. It doesn't go anywhere. Let us see how cassava farmers in Thailand and Vietnam reduce soil erosion on sloping land by planting grass strips along contour lines. Contour lines follow positions located on the same altitude. Contour hedgerows slow the speed of water coming down the slope and allow the water to infiltrate. They also allow the washed away soil and nutrients to settle out above the hedgerows. You can plant many different grasses depending on what you need and what is locally available. Choose plants that do not compete much with the nearby cassava plants nor produce a lot of light seed, as this could cause weed problems. Farmers in central Thailand plant contour hedgerows of vetiver grass to protect their soil. They cut the leaves for mulch or to weave baskets. Vetiver grass lives for many years and withstands drought, flooding and grazing. Other farmers leave strips of natural grass so the rain cannot wash the soil down the slope. About every 10 meters, strips are marked with sticks and empty cans, so the strips remain untouched when the field is plowed. In northern Vietnam, farmers grow paspalum grass. Ms. Tran Thi Nga from Yen Bai province already planted her grass strips in 2002. Thirteen years later, we can see how much soil was saved. Terraces established themselves between the grass strips and the soil is soft throughout her field, making it easy for the cassava roots to develop. After planting the grass strips, we can easily plow the soil, and there's no erosion. If we apply fertilizer, our cassava also yields better, much better than that of farmers who don't have grass hedgerows like us. Let us learn from Mr. Huang Van Hoi in Ma Village how to establish paspalum grass strips. You can either use grass seed or split mature grass clumps. In one strip, farmers often plant three lines of paspalum grass about 20 centimeters apart. After one year, the lowest line can be uprooted to serve as plant material for other fields. Mr. Hoy cuts the uprooted grass back to a length of 20 centimeters. Together with his wife, he then splits the shortened tillers before planting them. To stop the water from flowing down the slope, the grass needs to be planted exactly along the contour lines. You can easily lay out a contour line using an A-frame.
After having marked a contour line with wooden pegs at the bottom of his field, Mr. Hoy and his family start planting the grass. Dig 10 cm deep planting holes about 20 to 30 cm apart. Plant a second row just alongside the first one, with the tillers of both rows alternating. By doing so, there will be no holes and the grass strip will become a good barrier. Leave 20 meters between the hedgerows on gentle slopes and 10 meters on steeper slopes. Apart from protecting the soil, paspalum is a great fodder. You can cut the grass already 45 days after planting and once every month afterwards. When you have several fields planted with grass strips, you can cut grass to feed your animals every other day. During the cold winters in the mountains of northern Vietnam, farmers find it hard to find fresh fodder for their animals, so some farmers started making silage from the paspalum. Thưa anh chị này, em thì trồng cỏ sen canh ở trên nương sắn. I intercrop grass in my cassava field, and I can see that the grass helps keep the soil on my field from eroding. We can use the grass to make silage to use as winter food for our livestock. Other farmers cut the grass to feed the fish in their pond. Having limited land in the lowlands to grow fodder, the grass strips in the cassava fields on the hills are a great solution. Once planted, check at the beginning of every rainy season that there are no gaps in the grass rows or else the rainwater will find its way to the gap and wash away your soil. In case the grass dies or dries up due to a drought, we will have to replant it to maintain the form of the hedgerow. To encourage more farmers to plant grass strips requires a joint effort. As Mr. Duan Van Thuy, Vice Chairman of the People's Committee of Van Yen District, explains. We engaged the People's Party and all the mass organizations in the district, such as the Farmers' Union, Women's Union, and Veterans' Union. We motivate their members to organize events for the planting of grass strips. Our district also has a deal with the cassava processing factories to sell them good quality cassava in exchange for some financial support. From this money, we can organize training courses, extension campaigns, buy grass seeds, and also pay the farmers a small amount for their labor. While local authorities can help to introduce a suitable grass variety in a community to stop soil erosion, entrepreneurial farmers can promote it to neighboring villages. If we want to promote grass hedgerows to other farmers, then we collect the grass seeds and sell them to households who have never grown grass strips before. I sell one kilogram of grass seed for about 500,000 Vietnam dong and never have enough seed to sell. It sells out very quickly. So, what have we learned? Without proper erosion control measures, heavy rains will wash away the fertile soil and yields will decline quickly.
plant grass strips or allow natural grass strips to grow along contour lines to increase the infiltration of rainwater in the soil and to stop the soil and nutrients from washing down the slope. Leave 10 to 20 meters between grass hedgerows with closer spacing on steeper slopes. Planting grass strips requires some extra work at first, but the benefits are great and increase over the years. Grass strips will stop soil erosion, help to build up the fertility of your soil, and increase your yield and income in both the short and the long term.